time for another week on, and I bet you can't guess what I'm going to be eating this week. Yes, the stuff in front of me, and some stuff in the fridge and the freezer, which I haven't got out for the sake of the title card. Um, yes, Tesco, for those that don't know, is a supermarket in the UK, and they are known for having a range of very, very cheap products known as Tesco Value, although it has been recently, fairly recently, rebranded to Tesco Everyday Value. So yes, it is just essentially the essentials, kind of, but very, very cheap. And also that uh, the, the preconception is that it's very, very crap as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend the next seven days eating nothing but Tesco value products. And that includes things like water, because yes, they even sell bottle water for 17 pence a bottle, which... Um, no, how surely the bottle itself costs seventeen p to produce and ship and design and all this gubbins. Um, there's a surprisingly large amount of things. There is ginger nut biscuits, uh, tea bags, um, instant noodles. There's a strange pot noodle ripoff. Potato cereal bars, Coke. Uh, sorry, cola, lemonade, cornflakes. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in the fridge and freezer, like I say, which um, I will show you on the day. So there we go. This this is going to be interesting. When I was a student, um, for three years, I lived on pretty much very cheap things all the time, including Tesco Valley bread, which I had all the time. I think that's interesting with the bread, which I don't seem to have here at the moment. I do have it. Um, it, it lasts like two days, three days max, so I'm going to put half of it in the freezer so that it doesn't just grow mouldy and take over the entire house. Um, it's been rebranded to uh, like HP Neville or something like that. I don't know, I'm probably going to show it on screen right now as soon as I don't have it with me. So here it is. Here is a screenshot of it. Isn't it nice? But it's essentially the same thing. So that's the only thing that won't have the Tesco Value branding on it, even though it, it is... Um, Tesco value, but there we go. So this is going to be an interesting one. What I'm going to do now, like I always do when I kick off these week ons, is I'm going to jump on the scales, um, which I don't like, but it has to be done. We have to see how eating nothing but Tesco value products affects me. So there we go. Let's do that. Here we go. The favourite bit. Now just remember, we it's been Christmas. I've been rather generous to myself, so no judging. 219.8. There we go. Let's, let's go through the next week and, um, and see where all this value stuff takes me. Hopefully, um, hopefully a little, little bit down. A little bit down. A lot down. Quite, quite a lot down. Mmm. Everyday value cornflakes. Fortified with vitamins and iron. Uh, so what that means, I guess, is um, they're not very corn-like. I don't know. Um, 45 pence this huge box cost. 45. That is absolutely ridiculously cheap. Um, I've got no idea what they actually contain, if it's newspaper or if it's real food. But, um, I mean, that that is incredible. 45 pence. I also have... UHT milk because uh, there is no Tesco value fresh milk 49p this cost um, I, I'm not a fan of UHT milk it's not in tea but um, you know beggars can't be choosers and all that uh, usually have semi skim milk it's been in the fridge though so uh, hopefully it's um, it, it's not too bad on the old cereal so um, let's see how this goes let's try and make it all sexy like it's a cornflake advert oh no I've already spilt loads on the side <laughs> It's not sexy at all. Okay. They look like cornflakes. This looks like milk. We're on to a strong start. I had a slight accident there. Uh, I quite like cornflakes um, in all their bland glory. Um, a lot of people tend to put sugar on them or something. I don't know. I quite like a bland cereal. I quite like porridge with nothing in it. But um, there we go. They smell like cornflakes. Smell alright. So uh, let's have a go. I'm not sort of looking forward to the milk, but uh, bottoms up. Mm. Actually, those cornflakes are lovely. You wouldn't know the difference. I'm really, really impressed with those. And the milk, uh, because it's cold, UHT milk, you can sort of 
don't have to put in the fridge. But because it's cold, it's really nice. And I wouldn't say it's as, as creamy and as fresh tasting as just normal milk, but I'm really happy with that. Um, so this is not going to be my breakfast every day. I do have some other things. But, yeah, I mean, um, what is there to say? I'm really, really happy. It tastes like cornflakes. It tastes like cornflakes and milk. Um, which is exactly what it is. I was a little bit apprehensive, but that's a good start. It may just be a bowl of cornflakes, but it's a pretty good bowl of cornflakes. Right, well, it is um, It is half past 12. I am starving. I could have had some snacks, I guess, but I kind of just want to push on with a bit of work and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm starving now, so it's time for a lovely Tesco value lunch. Uh, just looking at reflection. Not my reflection, myself in the view. Um, when I bought the um, Squat Magic a couple of weeks ago, or reviewed it a couple of weeks ago, I um, I was sent these wrist weights for free. I wasn't sending instructions, but I was sent wrist weights. So that was interesting. Trying to figure out if I could fit them in with a the video. Uh, not sure, but any ideas, let me know. I'll see what I can do. No, I'm not going to try and masturbate in them. And on that bombshell, let's get some lunch. So this is lunch. Spicy curry flavour noodles. It's essentially a pot noodle, but incredibly cheap. 35 pence for this thing. Um, this is not going to fill me up, but I've got other things as well. So there we go. Just add hot water. I've already boiled the kettle, so I can do this and still make quality content. <laughs> no chance. Should be a fill line on here somewhere. Where do I fill you up to? Oh, don't let me read the instructions there. The fill line goes to there. Okay. So there's that. Doesn't smell too bad. A um, little apprehensive about this one, hence why I'm doing it, getting it out of the way. But uh, I'm going to let it do its thing for a couple of minutes and I'll give it a go. To bulk it out a bit, um, a 12 pack assortment of crisps, including uh, four cheese puffs, four onion rings, four salt and vinegar crunchy sticks. So at least should be good. 59p for 12 packet of crisps. I mean that's ridiculous. So they're not they're not huge. But, um, I'm gonna try I guess. Look alright. They're actually really nice. You get like three in a pack. But they're really good. I expect them to be really weird texture and not much flavour, but no, they're good. So maybe I'll have one of them. Another one of these. Mix it up a bit. One of them. One of them. We'll call that lunch. Still waiting for this to um, resemble food. Thoroughly enjoyed those onion ring crisps, so um, I have high hopes for these. Um, I have confused hopes for this, but uh, give it a fair shot. I was surprised by the cornflakes and the crisps, so. That has absolutely zero flavour. <laughs> Maybe tiny hint of curry. The texture's fine, like a pot noodle, I guess. But uh, there's zero flavour to that. Um, slight spiciness, I guess. That's a little bit disappointing. But there, um, there are peas in there. So there you go. You'll get uh, 1.3 of your five a day. I don't know. I'm gonna try a cheese puff. Look okay. Slightly stale texture. But they taste good. Not masses of flavour like with the onion rings. They're okay. Nowhere near as good as the onion rings. Still got the salt and to try. Uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed with this one. There's absolutely no flavour to it. It's bright and luminous orange. I better not spill that anywhere because it will stain everything forever. Um, oh, there's a shameful sequel spoiler. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just going to kind of eat this slightly disapprovingly uh, and these um, are not great either but at least the uh, onion rings are there there's a backup oh well onwards and upwards forgive the washing machine um, in the background but uh, I'm thirsty and the washing machine can go screw itself and someone else who is also being a little pain aren't they Basil you think you're getting things from the fridge stop winking at me it's going to get you nowhere. But uh, would you like some water? 
No, you don't. You don't want Tesco value, do you? Here we go. Breaking new territory. Bottled water reviews on the internet. Cheers. I mean, yes, it's nice. It's uh, it's water. Uh, don't know the difference between this and a two pound bottle, but uh, you know, who cares? Well, it's a. About six o'clock, I am hungry. Um, my crappy noodly thing wasn't great. The crisps, yeah, all right. Um, starving now though, so time for dinner. And um, I've got something which I'm kind of looking forward to, so I'm hoping it is good. So let's do it. How could this go wrong? Pepperoni pizza, one pound 10. Not huge, um, it's a bit bigger than my hand, but for one pound ten, that's pretty good. Not quite as cheap as the Iceland ones, which are a little bit bigger, but um, it does look fairly decent and um, some sort of like pepperoni on there. So I'm going to shove this in the oven. How long does it need? Uh, ten minutes. Not too bad. So yes, uh, it's pretty starving. Let's do it. It actually doesn't smell too bad. Um, don't know how I'm going to cut this one-handed, but I'll give it a go. Turn around. Nailed it. There we go. Let's try this uh, pepperoni. Hmm. Not the best pepperoni in the world, but. Ooh. Give it a go. Hmm. Fairly standard. Yeah, nice. I've got no doubt that the stuff on top isn't cheese. It's fairly spicy actually, that pepperoni. A bit of heat to that. Which, um, yes, it's good. Um, by far, you know, you can buy better pizzas. But for £1.10, it's okay. I'll probably have to have some crisps or some biscuits or something later, just to pad it out. And I need, I need a plate. But uh, I'm going to enjoy this. Meanwhile, Grace has um, some Chinese. I'm quite jealous. But, this is okay. I'm going to stop uh, looking at that Chinese and have this. Well, that was day one, and it went really well, I think. Pretty pleased with it. Uh, really nice cornflakes, really nice crisps, really nice pizza. Not so nice knockoff pot noodle. That was just salty and warm. Yeah, nothing is nice that's described as salty and warm leave no comment in the comments um, but yeah I, I actually don't feel hungry it's uh, it's like it's like half ten so I'll be thinking about going to bed in a bit um, but yeah pretty pleased with the day this is really boring I should shout and scream and Say, this is the worst day of my life! But, um, something about the third or fourth worst.